Mrs. Griffin, I've got good news. Your test results came back negative. It appears the lump in your breast is not black gross boob death. Breast cancer? That's the layman's term, yes. Oh, thank God. What a relief. Yeah, that was scary. Oh, huh, that's curious. I didn't realize your mother was a Holocaust survivor. My mother? Oh, no, that's, that's impossible. She's not Jewish. According to her birth certificate, she is. Oh, my God. Wow. Breast cancer's starting to look pretty good. Mom, you're Jewish? I'm sorry I never told you, dear. When we were married, your father made me conceal the fact so he could get into country clubs. It was the right thing to do. Oh, my God. So Grandma Hebrewberg is actually Jewish? Yes. When she moved to America, her family changed their name. It was originally Hebrewberg Money Grabber. That makes you Jewish, Lois. And your children, too. Oh, thank you for coming over, Max. I really need some advice from an actual Jewish person. Oh, it's my pleasure, Lois. I'm sure this all must be very overwhelming. I just don't know what to do with this information. I'll tell you what you should do with it. Absolutely nothing. That's the problem with this world. Too many people go overboard with what they believe. Like Quagmire when he thought he was the one getting the spinoff. See you later, bitches. Have fun with your stupid <laughs> giant chicken jokes and your Conway Twitter. Hey, why is there a moving truck outside Cleveland's house? Essentially, Brian's right. Being Jewish doesn't really have to change you or your family's life. Well, I guess you're right. There's no reason things should be any different around here. Shalom, Jews! Wow, Dad, where did you get all that glistening chest hair? It came with my Star of David. Oh, and I don't respond to Peter. From now on, I want you to use my Hebrew name. <laughs> well, I, I caution you, uh... <laughs> that becoming Jewish doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that involves spiritual education and good works. So what you're saying is that it happens overnight? Peter, I'm the one with the Jewish heritage, and I really don't want to make a big deal out of this. Leave it to a Jew to take all the fun out of being a Jew. Now listen up. I like the hat and I like the scarf, so we're doing this. Kids, from now on, this is where we'll celebrate the Sabbath. Peter, this is all unnecessary. Our life was fine the way it was. Check it out. I'm one of you guys now, huh? I'm Jewish. Yeah, Holocaust. We're number one. Hi, you're pretty. Oh, thank you. Mom, is sodomy illegal if you're Jewish? I hope so, Meg. I really do. It's not, Lois. It's not. Dad, this isn't the way to school. Yes, it is, Chris. One of the best parts about being Jewish is getting to take advantage of their excellent schools. I'm not going to no Jewish school. Sitting around all day with a bunch of short, hairy guys, I'll feel like I'm on the forest moon of Endor. Didn't you... didn't you make that joke the other day? Oh, yeah. No, I, I just... I wasn't sure if everybody had, um... had heard... And instead of lasting for one day, the oil in the lamp lasted for eight days. And that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? And it's also why many families give their children eight days of presents. Wait, did she say eight days of presents? Yeah. Hey, this Judaism thing is going to be better than I thought. Now everyone off to gym class. All right, today we're going to play soccer. Huh, that was easy. Anybody want toast or a bagel? Peter, what the hell? Lois, last night my father came to me and reminded me that I'm a good Catholic. If I don't rid the house of this Jewish curse, this family is going to go to hell, and I won't let that happen. Peter, you were the only one who was even taking this thing seriously. Jews are gross, Lois. It's the only religion with the word ew in it. Hmm. Huh? What the? What the hell? How do you like it? Huh? How do you like it? Peter, what in God's name is this? Wait a minute. Are, are these pieces of Stewie's crib? I hate it here. Lois, what Peter is doing to you is exactly what Carter did to me for years. He's repressing your Jewish identity. <laughs> All I'm saying is I let your father take my Jewish identity, and I've regretted it ever since. I don't want to see you make the same mistake. <coughs> Carter, knock it off! Come on, you know you Jew girls want that dollar. Follow the dollar and it'll lead you to... Uh, what, are, what are Jews like? Salmon! There's salmon over here! Is there really salmon over there? No. You walk over there and he squirts you with a squirt gun. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? 
Relax, Lois. I was aiming for the mailbox. I'm just trying to make a point. Good morning, Lois. Hey, ah! for God's sake! I am so sorry, Mort. No problem, Lois. That's just how people say hello to me. Hey, Joe. Hey, Mort. Okay, everyone. This is my first time doing a Seda, which is where we tell the story of the Jews' escape from bondage in Egypt. Doesn't it seem like every Jewish holiday has to do with them escaping from stuff? Uh, Lois, not that I'm rushing you, but when do we get to the wine drinking? Hang on, hang on. Before we do anything, I'd like to say a blessing over the candles, if I may. Now, bear with me. I haven't had much rehearsal time. <clears throat> Can we just eat? And now I shall continue the prayer. Kalima! 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 Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! 